Hello everyone, I am Elvis and I want to welcome you all to the World Challenge Club Educational Show. I hope you're doing well and as fit as a fiddle. We have some exercises for you today. These exercises are for your brain and your imagination. But first, I need to tell you all about the World Challenge Club. If you like making things, doing experiments and learning interesting facts, then the World Challenge Club is for you. Every Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, we have a new challenge for you to complete after the show. To do these challenges, you would only need things that you can find in your home. For example, cards, paper, scissors, bits of string, and if you have a smartphone, we may be able to use that too. You will use these things to invent, solve problems, and explore new ideas. We will also teach you any skill that you need to tackle each day's challenge. It may be measuring distance, time, or carrying out a test in a fair way in size. If anything sounds difficult, don't worry. We have some people here today that will help explain it all. But there is more. As we tackle the daily challenge, members of the World Challenge Club can also take part in a World Challenge Club online competition. Visit the World Challenge Club at worldchallenge.club. If you sign up to the club, and remember to check with your parents first, you will be able to see everything that was in the show and check out anything that you may have missed. When you sign up to the World Challenge Club, you would also be able to choose your school and your class and also join your classmates in tackling their online challenges. Each challenge you complete will give you a score. If you do well in the challenge by testing and improving your solutions, you will get better scores. You can enter your better score into a leaderboard to compare your score with your classmates and with others around the world. You can even compete for certificates and prizes. The theme for this week's challenge is flying things, and today's challenge is seed spinners. You will use paper, some scissors, and other bits and pieces as we explore ideas about flight. You will need a stopwatch to get your scores. This could be a clock app on your phone. You will learn about how plants have harnessed the power of flight to disperse their seeds. You will make your own flying seeds from paper. You will test different shapes and types of seeds you invent to find out which ones work best. The final challenge will be to see which of your flying seed designs can stay in the air the longest when dropped from a height of 2 meters. Measure the time it takes to land. That will be your score. Science, Technology, Engineering and Math. What is it all about? Let's find out. Since prehistoric times, humans have survived and thrived by being able to think and solve problems. How can I find and cook my food? How do I stay safe and healthy? How can I keep warm? Our ability to solve problems like these and share our solutions and inventions with each other are abilities that every one of us has, including you. Over many thousands of years, humans have developed their skills at inventing, improving and fixing things to reach where we are today and our world full of amazing machines, technologies and ways of connecting with each other. Ten, nine, ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Zero. We all know the story of the first human on the moon. Just over 50 years ago, many thousands of the brightest minds worked together to achieve that amazing dream. Now imagine the science, engineering and technology required to land a person on the moon. It must have been incredible. Now imagine holding a smartphone in your hand. Did you know there is more computing power, more memory and more capabilities in that small smartphone than in the whole of the rocket that went to the moon? That is the story of STEM. Always improving, always learning, always solving problems. One day it could be you that could be building a space rocket, or designing a new smartphone, or perhaps developing new forms of renewable energy to help people and the planet. Fifty years ago, thousands of people worked together to send humans to the moon. 
Thousands of people work together today just the same way using their skills in science, engineering, technology, and mathematics to help each other. If you enjoy creating things or solving puzzles and problems, what kind of work could you do? Rolls-Royce is a world-leading technology company and provider of power systems including aero engines. Here is a little flavor of the work that Rolls-Royce does. At Rolls-Royce, we believe in the positive, transforming potential of technology. Throughout our rich heritage, we've pursued more competitive power, developing ever cleaner, safer, groundbreaking technologies that shape the world we live in. We've created the world's most efficient large aero engine, powered nuclear submarines, and enabled land speed records. We've developed game-changing engineering solutions for supersonic jets and even supported NASA missions on the edge of space. We disrupt. We challenge convention. We champion new solutions. We pioneer the power that matters. We're always looking forward to creating an environment where our people can be at their best, shape the future and work on incredible projects that matter. We give them the freedom to grow, challenge, and be brilliant. We collaborate, innovate, and embrace different ways of thinking. We're pioneers. Together, we'll advance beyond tomorrow. Rolls-Royce is one of the world's leading engineering companies designing and developing high technology power solutions based on very efficient engines. These are used for applications on land, at sea and in the air. Our engineering strength is built on two key technology platforms, the gas turbine and the piston engine. Through machine learning it learns from its experiences and those of other engines in the fleet, identifying and fixing issues long before they have any impact on an airline's operation. All part of achieving our vision of ensuring every Rolls-Royce powered aircraft takes off and lands on time, every time, with maximum efficiency. Amazing! Ships, submarines, aeroplanes and rocket cars. Who knew that one company does so much? Could you ever imagine working in a company that does amazing things like that? and that your job every day could be to invent other new and fantastic things. School is just the first step in the journey, but the journey is the one that you choose to make. If you follow your interests and passions, you can find jobs and careers that will let you live your dream every day. Here are some stories from young people who have followed the love of science, technology, engineering and math to find jobs at Rolls-Royce. I find it very exciting to work at Rolls-Royce because every day I get to learn something new and that's exactly what keeps me going. As a career choice it was good for me. Everyone kind of told me I was heavily male. I didn't really see what the problem was because as an engineer you kind of look beyond the initial appearance anyway to get the job solved. As part of my apprenticeship I get to study a degree in materials engineering and mechanical design aerospace. Looking at it, it seems too good to be true. You're doing a university degree, you're getting years of work experience, you're going to be in an amazing world-renowned company. And so Rolls-Royce has given Smyra an opportunity to test out everything that she, she believes about what she is and who she is. That's really great, we're really pleased about that. We now need to worry about tomorrow's battles. They're going to be won by combining the wisdom of the past with the creativity of the future. We want to keep working with technology, but we need to change. We need to make it cleaner, less damaging for the environment and create a sustainable future. And that inspires me. When you add in the dimension of the fact that we have to make a successful business out of it as well, then who could resist that? Our role is to harness science and technology and make life better for people and that's where I think the next generation of graduates and apprentices comes in. 
typically the next generation is always doing things that the previous generation deemed impossible. We need to invest in our grads and apprentices now in order to fuel the future for our company. And that's why Rolls-Royce is such an amazing place to start and build your career. How inspiring. So many ways to follow your interests. Did one of those stories of people working at Rolls-Royce excite you? It could be you working somewhere like that one day. But now, back to today's topic and the theme of the week, flying things. Did you like the aeroplanes? Rolls-Royce engines power aircraft all around the world. So how do aircrafts work? Our challenge today is seat spinners. We will use this challenge to learn a little bit about how things fly. After the break, we will explain how seat spinners work and how to make one. We will also show you how to test your seat spinner by measuring height and time accurately. We want you to make more than one seat spinner. Engineers and scientists do not just make one thing. They make lots of things. Then they test them all to work out which one is best. In today's challenge, we will make different seat spinners and you will test them all to find out which of your seat spinner designs flies the longest in time. Remember, you will be able to put your best course onto the World Challenge Club leaderboard at the end of the day. Will yours be the best? Coming up after the break, we will learn all about seat spinners and how to test them. Welcome back to the World Challenge Club and today's challenge, Seat Spinners. What is a seat spinner and how do they work? Why might flying seeds be useful for a plant? How can I make one? Let's find out. Have you ever seen a seed from a plant float or fly through the air? Why do you think a parent plant might want its seeds to move far away? Let's think about what a seed needs to grow. Seeds need water, oxygen and the correct temperature in order to germinate. Once a seed germinates it will get energy from the sun through its new leaves. Large plants often have shady areas underneath which might be too dark or dry. Not an ideal place for the plant seeds to germinate. To increase the chances of their seeds landing in an ideal location, some plants have evolved flying seeds. A dandelion seed is a type of flying seed. It is very light and has thin hairs that catch the air. The wind carries the seeds away from the parent plant, hopefully to a place where the new seedling can grow and where it will not compete with the parent plant for resources such as light and water from the soil. The sycamore tree has evolved another way to disperse its seeds. The seeds have wings. When a sycamore seed falls from the tree, the large thin wings catch the air. Because of the shape of the wing, the seed spins to the ground slowly. This gives the seed time to be carried away from the shadow of the parent tree by the moving air. There are many species of plant that have flying seeds and different ones grow in different parts of the world. There is one species of tree that has the best flying seeds of all. It is the Alsometra tree. These trees are found in jungles and rainforests. The flying seed of the Alsometra can be more than 10 centimetres across. That's nearly as big as your hand. The Alsometra seed is so good at flying that when people first started thinking about making flying machines, they were inspired by the shape and the highly evolved design of the Alsometra seed, and they used it to help design early aircraft and gliders. Our partner, Twig Education, have a video all about the Alsometra tree and its amazing flying seeds. The Alsometra plant produces some of the largest winged seeds. The wings enable the seeds to glide hundreds of meters. 
so they can be dispersed far away from their parent plant. The seedlings that germinate will now have enough space and light to grow. We can create our own flying seeds or seed spinners by using some paper and some scissors or a knife. A paper clip can act as the seed. So how does a seed spinner work? Because there are two blades, each getting the same push but on opposite sides and in opposite directions, the two forces combine together to make it spin. Now we know how to make a seed spinner and have an idea how it works. Shad from Curry's Mouth is here now to tell you how you can test your seed spinners. Well, let's look at heights. We investigated. For that, we need a wooden L-shaped bracket, a tape measure, two pieces of string, a stone, and that's all. Let's get started. That's the baseline. You put a bottle on top of a table. Whatever you put it on is the baseline. And then you want to know the height of this bottle. That's the highest point. So you make a straight line that goes from the base straight up to the highest point, And that's how you get the height. This line has to be such that the L-shaped bracket should fit perfectly on this line. And that's when you get this height. So that's the height of that bottle. But if you tilt the bottle like that, now the highest point is here. So the same rules apply. You take the height from the bottom, and that's the new height for a tilted bottle. You can tilt it even more. You can tilt it that far. Then the highest point goes down. And so the height now will be even lower. So you get three different heights from the same bottle. It's like if you want to get this kind of a straight line, take a piece of string, tie it around a rock, hold it by one end, and then let it drop. That's how you get the height line. What we now need is take a tape measure, pull it out, measure up to one meter or 100 centimeters, and make a string that's exactly that long. And so there, that you've got your standard one meter long string. And you can use it many times. You want to make two meters, just use this. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to measure two meters of string with that. And that's your two meter long string. Now, are you ready to start? Great. Hold the spinner, release it, start now. There. It's going down, it's going down, it's going down. Stop. Stop right there. You got the timing. It's 3.8 seconds. You know that by now. Three and eight tenths of a second. And so your data is the spinner. You write two leaf because that's what it is. Height. That's two meters. That's what you got there. And the time taken. There, 3.8 seconds. It's finished. You're done. You're ready to start your next experiment. After the break, we will show you everything you need to do to tackle today's challenge. See you in a few minutes. Welcome back. So now you know the theory of seed spinners and you have seen the mathematics skills you need to use to test them. Now let's watch someone make one. Hello everybody and welcome to the lab. The word lab is short for laboratory. A laboratory is a place where scientists and engineers go to do work, testing and studying things. It's a bit like a workshop. If you're doing the World Challenge Club activities, you may want to set up your own lab. This could be on a desk in your room, or you could even make a lab in a box that stores everything you need and then you can lay it out on a shared table when you're doing World Challenge Club activities. You will also need to collect together some tools and resources for your lab. Many of these may be recycled. In my lab I have paper, old plastic food containers, string, bits of wood, empty drink bottles, bottle tops, some rubber bands and tools like rulers, pens, pencils, scissors, sticky tape and glue. Recycling is great for the planet, so the more you can do, the better. In the lab today, we're going to show you how to make seed spinners. Our friend Jazz 
is going to tell us how he made seed spinners in his lab. For today's exercise, we are making spinners. You can see in front of me various different samples of spinners. This is a turbine inspired spinner. This is a dandelion inspired spinner. And I made two which have two wings there. Nature has millions of years of experience of making things. And a quick look in my garden, I have found some seeds. Got six more seed there, and got two other ones there. So we're going to make a two wing spinner today, which is this one here. Made one earlier. For that you'll need a template or a design made up. We've got a design on our website which you can use. Seeds, I'll be, I'm gonna be using paper clips today, or you can use some blue tack, and also a pair of scissors. We're just cutting along the line. Make sure you just cut up to the dotted line. And again on that side. And then to split the wings up, we'll cut down the black line again. First fold is one way. Then turn it over and fold in the opposite direction. Get a paper clip and that will be your seed. We'll put two here. The next stage is to make the air force shape for the wings. Getting your pencil. Roll it one way. All the way to the cut. That way. And the next one you find the opposite way. And there you have your simple seed spinner. Ready for testing. So once you've made your spinners you need to test how well they perform. Always have a sheet made up of the number of tests you've done so, and we're using a stopwatch to measure the time taken 3, 2, 1 test 2 twin baby seed with more angled veins 3, 2, 1 turbine blade design 3, 2, 1 Oh, I'm really liking the turbine design. So, you can use the website template or you can make up your own seed spinner. Remember, when you test it, they all need to drop from a height of two meters. Use a record sheet to keep the time in seconds and tenths of a second that it takes to fly down to the ground. That's the score you put on the website. See you later. We are nearly at the end of our show. And it's time for us to review everything before you go and have some fun making your own seed spinners. Remember, there's a challenge too. The challenge today is to make a seed spinner that can stay in the air for the longest time when dropped from a height of 2 meters. You will measure this time in seconds and tens of a second. If you have a smartphone, it may have a clock or stopwatch app on it. You should try and make different seed spinner designs to find which one works best. Real scientists and engineers capture data to help them make their decisions. You should do the same. Keep notes about which shapes and designs of seed spinners work best. Keep a record of your very best score and enter it onto the leaderboard at worldchallenge.club at the very end of the day. If you want to see anything that was in the show again, go to www.worldchallenge.club. The World Challenge Club will work on any computer, tablet or smartphone that can connect to the internet. There are extra resources there too, so you can learn even more. The World Challenge Club is also a giant competition for hundreds of thousands of students from around the world. To take part in the competition, you'll need to sign up and become a member. You only need to register once, but you must check with a parent or teacher first before you sign up. If you're under 14 years of age, they will need to include their email address too. So go to www.worldchallenge.club and look out for the green register button on a challenge page. Just click it and follow the instructions. You'll be asked to find your school and join a team. When you've signed up, you'll be able to upload your best score for each day's challenge. So after the show, check out the club and get uploading your scores. We can't wait to see how you do on today's challenge. We have seen how to use the club website and hopefully you have everything you need to know to have a go at a seed spinner challenge 
and have some fun. Remember to record your results and enter your best flying time on the club website at the end of the day. Before we let you go and make some seat spinners, there are a few people and organizations we must thank. Sad at Charismat made special lessons just for you to help you tackle today's challenge. Remember what you were taught about height and measuring time accurately. They are important and useful skills for lots of things. Today's World Challenge Club educational show is brought to you by Rolls Royce, who are keen to see young people become excited about jobs and careers in science and technology. We look forward to seeing your results online. Have fun and see you tomorrow for another challenge.